everyone. This is Miss Sherry. I am an educator with Mosh, and today I'm going to be chatting a little bit with you about the human body. 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 Yeah, the human body. That's us. This this thing that that we are. The human body. And human bodies are pretty amazing. We're like these fantastic machines that can do all sorts of cool stuff. And because we're machines, we're made up of a bunch of parts, just like a car is a machine that's made up of a bunch of parts. And they all have different jobs, right? And for humans, we kind of separate those specific parts that do special jobs into categories we call an organ. So what is an organ? Well, an organ is a collection of tissues, so a bunch of the same kind of thing or similar thing that does a job. Now, with the human body, we've got a lot of those, and they work together in these neat systems to make sure that our bodies are doing what they're supposed to do as human bodies. There are five major organs that are the most important for our survival as humans. Those are brain brain, your heart, kidneys, those are down a little lower, so kind of underneath your rib cage on the sides, your liver, which is kind of across the front here, just under your rib cage as well, and lungs, those are in here, right, that we breathe with, and you might think about using like your brain or your lungs, but often we don't think about using our organs. I don't think about my heart beating all the time. It just does it. And I don't think about my kidney or liver very much. They just kind of do their thing, right? But what is it that they actually do? Let's talk a little bit about what those five major organs do. What is their function or their purpose inside of our body? So our brain, that one it's kind of easy, isn't it? So our brain is like the control center for our whole body. It processes information. It looks at the data, right? All of the things around us and it filters it. It figures stuff out. It helps us to remember. We learn things with our brain. We feel emotion, right? And we think about things using our brain. It's, it's like the computer of our body. Very important, right? Now, our kidneys, uh, one that you may not think about, right? Our kidneys are the filters for our body. They actually filter blood. So the blood goes through the kidneys, and the kidneys pull out waste and extra fluid, stuff that our blood doesn't need to operate properly, right? Okay, now the average human, so that's a regular human adult that's healthy, will filter about 200 quarts of blood to produce around two quarts of waste. Do you guys know what that waste looks like? It's urine. Yeah. Urine, which is just a fancy way of saying pee. Yeah, so our kidneys help us pull stuff out of our body that we don't need and help us get rid of it by going to the bathroom. Right. Maybe uh, you may learn a little bit more about what happens um, when you get rid of waste with Miss Chloe in another video. You'll have to look for that. Now, our liver, another important organ, right? Our liver has a lot of functions. Um, some of them are filtering harmful toxins or chemicals that we shouldn't have in our body for a long time. Our liver helps to get rid of them. We also use our liver, or our liver helps to, rather, um, filter drugs. If you get sick and you need to take uh, antibiotics or you need to take medicine for pain, our liver is the one that helps our body use that drug or those medicines um, the way that they should be used. And it also helps us by producing bile. Now, bile is something that our digestive system uses to break down food and so that our, our body can get the most from our food. Also pretty important. Now, we've got lungs, right? Now, these are the ones you may think about if you notice that you're taking big, deep breaths after working out or being very active. Right? Our lungs are responsible for taking oxygen to our blood by taking in air, like we breathe, and 
we blow out air too, don't we? So we inhale, that oxygen goes into our lungs and our lungs send it to our blood. We'll talk a little bit more about how that happens a little later. And then we exhale and we exhale something important as well. We exhale waste. Yeah, more of that stuff. Waste, stuff our body doesn't need. And the stuff that we exhale is, I bet somebody out there knows, I'll wait to hear. Yeah, you probably guessed it. Carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide is the waste. It's the stuff that we don't need. And our lungs are responsible for helping us get that out of our body when we exhale. All right, we've got one organ left. Now this organ is the one I kind of want to focus on for most of the rest of my discussion with you here. This is the heart the heart. Your heart is kind of over here in your body. And I have a very fancy thing here. This is a model of a heart. It's a model. A model is, a, it's something that we use that looks a lot like the real thing, but it's not. This is made of plastic instead of, of muscle which is what the heart is. The heart is a muscle. In fact, it is the only muscle in our body that fits into the category of cardiac muscle. This is a cardiac muscle. There's only one like it, our heart and our whole body. Now, this thing is pretty cool. Our heart is actually a pump right? A pump. So if you're thinking a pump, um, you may think about if you have, let's think, let's think like a squirt gun. If you have a squirt gun and you're holding it in your hand and you squeeze your finger, you pump the trigger of your squirt gun and then the liquid flows out of it, right? It's kind of like this, except with the heart, it's these bits here that squeeze and push and move blood around our bodies. Now our heart is a super important organ. It doesn't actually not actually this size though. It's about the size of a fist. So it's kind of small to be so important inside of our body, right? Now it contracts or squeezes and relaxes and pumps that blood around our body. But why is it important for blood to be pumped around our body? What, what is the purpose of blood moving around our body? Remember I mentioned that those lungs take oxygen to our blood? Well, why? The oxygen in our blood has to go to our entire body, all of it, even down to my fingers, all the way to my feet. All of the cells that are inside of my body need oxygen to function properly. So our heart is responsible for moving that oxygen around our body. And it's also responsible for helping the oxygen to get in there in the first place. We'll talk a little bit more about that in just a couple of minutes. Now, so I already mentioned that our blood moves around, right? So our blood moves through blood vessels. They are these itty bitty like tubes that are all throughout our body. And there are a couple of different kinds of blood vessels. There are arteries. And now arteries, um, for the most part, when you look at a model of a heart, arteries are going to be the red ones, right? Now arteries carry the blood that already has the oxygen in it. Okay. So when you see red on a model of a heart, it's usually because it's indicating that it's already got the oxygen inside of the blood that moves through these arteries. Now veins, it's these here, the blue ones. Veins are oxygen depleted. That means they're the ones that are empty. They don't have any more oxygen. They're the ones carrying the carbon dioxide waste back to the lungs for us to exhale it. So our veins are blue, arteries are red, but there's still another kind of blood vessel. And this one's pretty important too. It's called a capillary. Now these capillaries are much, 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 much smaller. They're super teeny. And their job is to help the blood deliver the oxygen to those cells where it's most needed. They also kind of connect our veins and our arteries so that once the blood from an artery drops off uh, its oxygen through the capillary to wherever that cell is, it then goes through the capillary the rest of the way and to a vein to head back towards the heart. It's a pretty complicated process. Now, let me show you something I got here. Yeah. Whoa. Now this 
is a model of a heart. That's the space here in the center. You may notice it looks, looks kind of familiar to our one that we just peeked at over there. So we've got our heart in the center here. And then these are our lungs. Now, once the oxygen depleted blood comes back to our heart. So remember I said it comes through these blue looking, um, the blue looking veins back to our heart. Once it gets here, it goes into the heart, the heart pumps, squeezes, and moves it into our lungs, which you'll see over here. Now inside of our lungs, there are more blood vessels, like we mentioned before, right? And you can see that there are blue and there are red ones. So there are veins and there are arteries. So what's happening is that the blood will move along one of these blue veins into our lungs. There are some other things in here too that are a light blue color. Those are called bronchioles, bronchial tubes. And those are what actually hold on to what we breathe in, the oxygen. So they connect, they connect. The veins will connect, come around to one of these bronchial tubes. At the end of the tubes are these little sacs, these little bunches called alveoli. And they connect to those and they kind of loop around. And as they come around to these air sacs, these, the veins will loop around the air sacs, they soak up the oxygen from those air sacs. And then they return back to the heart in the red tube, the arteries back to the heart to be pumped again out the red artery tubes and into the rest of our body, delivering that oxygen that we need to survive. It's pretty neat, huh? I don't know. We don't usually think about this kind of stuff, right? Like I mentioned before, we don't think about our heart beating. We, don't, we certainly don't think about our blood picking up a bunch of oxygen and taking it to our bodies, do we? So this is called an involuntary process, something we don't think about when we use it. Now, when I grab onto something with my hand, I think about grabbing it, grabbing my phone. I just thought, I wanna pick up my phone and now I'll grab it. This is a voluntary action. It's something that we think about doing and then we do. Involuntary actions, involuntary body processes happen whether we think about them or not, which is pretty neat. on support from our community. If you like what you just saw, please consider donating at www.themosh.org and give us a like on social media at Mosh Jacks so you can stay connected.